This video will show you some of the preferences that you can change in RockSim. To find the preferences, such as the units or the dimensions and the drawing fonts down here at the bottom, the preferences are located under the RockSim menu if you're on a Macintosh or under the File menu if you are under Windows. So if I select Preferences here, the screen that comes up will be the same for both Windows and Macintosh. Um, so across the top we have the simulation settings, um, which you can probably just leave alone. The simulation summary, these are the columns that you see here on the summary screen. And we'll come back to those later. Um, our units tab controls the units that we're using. Uh, right now I have altitude set in meters. So I'm going to change that to feet. And... Um, Everything else I'm going to leave the same, but you can choose whatever units are most comfortable to yourself. Under 2D Drawing, this controls this 2D drawing down here. We have a couple of different views that we can change. We can change the side view, which is what's shown right here. And we can also change the base view. Um, let me uh, click OK. Um, it, you can notice that it changed the altitude to feet. But uh, over here, we have this button that controls the views. So these are the, what we're going to change next. We have the side view and the top view. Now, right now, I'm looking at the side view. And if I change it to top view, you notice here on the screen that the orientation of the fins change. Now, mo for most rockets, this is not going to matter whether you're in top view or side view. But if you have a design that kind of looks like an airplane with wings on it that are only in one plane, um, going from a side view to a top view may help you reorient yourself as you're looking on the rocket. Uh, the next one down is the base view. This is looking at the rear of the rocket. And then the, finally we have the 3D view, which is right here. And I'm just using the wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. Um, you can also um, choose the orientation by clicking over here, which is the camera controller button. It brings up this screen and you can rotate the rocket in any direction that you want. Um, if you want to uh, recenter the, the rocket into the middle of the screen, hit recenter. And if you hit reset camera, basically it goes back to the default view of the rocket. Um, so I'm going back to the side view of the rocket, and I'm going to go back to preferences. And I can change some of the... Um, the preferences over here, like the engine color. Right now our engine is a gray color and if I select this right here I can choose maybe like a brown color to match like an Estes engine. Change that to brown. Um, the heading font is this font over here down here on the side. That's the heading font and if I click on that I can change the font to something that you know that you might like. Um, Again, the choice is, is totally yours. You can change it to what you want. Um, the other colors over here, these we have the background color right now is set at white. Um, the, the CG marker color, uh, let me get this out of the way. Here's our CG right here. It kind of looks like a cross in a, in a circle. That's our center of gravity. That's where the rocket balances. Right now we have it as blue. The Roxim CP color, is red. The Barrowman color is gray. I'll change that to a green. And the cardboard cutout is yellow. And I'll just change that to orange just for to show you how what that looks like. Um, we also can change the 3D rendering. Um, again, we have an engine color and a background color. Um, if you don't like the background color, you can change it to a different color that you want. And I'm going to click OK and I'll show you what this looks like. So you can see I changed the uh, font right here. And if I go to the 3D view, now my background is a dark blue. Um, I don't particularly like it. I'll probably change it back, but you can see what changed right there. Um, to get to that uh, Roxim um, CP and the Barrowman CP and the Cardboard Cutout CP, go up here to Rocket Design uh, Attributes and it says show CP location here as the second uh, choice. Right now it's showing the Roxim method. 
and you can change that to Barrowman and you can see the color changed and the CP position changed and then finally you can select cardboard cutout and again the color changed and also the location changed because it's a different method of calculating the center of pressure and we'll talk about that in other tutorial videos so basically don't be afraid to change your preferences um, they are for you and what you feel most comfortable with you can always change them around um, also if you if you think that you really messed up over here under the miscellaneous tab there's a factory reset button and by hitting this factory reset it will change all those preferences back to what Roxim originally came from so if you ever get into trouble you do not have to reinstall Roxim just come back here to factory reset just click that and it's going to change everything but just remember when you do that you're going to lose a lot of your other preferences like your colors and your font sizes and your colors things like that so uh, be careful doing factory reset most everything you can change up here under simulation settings, the simulation summary, the units, the 2D drawing, or the 3D rendering.